Now, near and far, and this morning's programme takes us to the seaside town of Minehead to find out what the attractions are for holidaymakers and what the resort is like in the winter months. It's early on a summer's day, and the tide is coming in. It'll be high water by lunchtime. Along the beach, there's work to be done. Clearing up from the day before and preparing for the day ahead. It may seem empty now, but soon the place will be busy with holiday makers. We're in the West Country, on the north coast of Somerset, in the seaside resort of Minehead. During the summer, Minehead is a popular place for a holiday. Some people come for the day, others for a week or more. The route into town takes you past rows of houses where many of the owners are keen to offer you accommodation. They all compete for trade and have signs outside telling you what the owner can provide. as well as the so-called boarding houses that are hotels for people to stay in. These are mostly near the centre of town and usually more expensive. Some hotels have been converted into holiday flats. These are places to stay in which you cook and look after yourself. It's a way of keeping down the cost of a holiday. Whatever the accommodation, there's usually no shortage of trade, provided there's plenty of sun. That's what attracts the holiday makers. The shopkeepers, too, depend on the sun. No! It's no good. I'm not wearing one of them. Well, if you can't sell a sun hat, there's usually something you've got that holiday makers want to buy. Gift and toy shops are everywhere, especially on the seafront, which is usually the busiest place of all. What most people come to the seaside for is the beach. At Minehead, there's a long stretch of sand. Provided the tide is out, there's plenty of space to enjoy what simple pleasures a beach can provide. It's an ideal beach for paddling. The only problem is the tide. It goes out a very long way. If you want to play in water while the tide is out, there's a paddling pool on the beach. It fills each time the tide comes in. And if all you want to do is to be entertained, there's Punch and Judy. 
Now then, Mr. Punch, for doing this to poor old Judy, there's a winner. For those who provide entertainment, this is a welcome opportunity for a job. Not everyone at the seaside enjoys the simple pleasures of the beach. Older people often prefer to stroll along the front or sit in the sun, sheltered from the wind. Most of these older people have come here on holiday, but there are some who have come here to live. This is the new home of Mr. and Mrs. Peyton. They moved here when Mrs. Peyton's husband retired. It's a great place for the grandchildren to come on a visit, but it's now a long way for them to come, and that's made quite a difference. We don't see them as regularly now, but if they're on school holiday, they're down here. They don't want to stay at home. What do the children like doing when they come? Well, when I come down to my net, my favourite thing is going fishing. Because sea fishing, of course, is mainly controlled by tide. So you fish when the tide is suitable. And if the tide's coming in at five o'clock in the morning, they want to be up at five o'clock in the morning to go fishing. Hard luck on Grandfather. What about Stuart? What does he like doing? I like coming down to Minehead and looking for shells and things off the beach. Once we found a hermit crab and lots of baby eels and things. What is it about all this that they find so enjoyable? It's just a thrill of fishing, really. Didn't catch anything. No, I had a great time trying. For the grandparents, this is a very different place to where they've come from. We came from Warwickshire, actually. Just down south of on Avon. But we've been coming down here for about 35 years. And uh, we decided we were going to come down here for our retirement. During the summer months, when the town is full of holidaymakers, Mrs. Peyton helps out in the local tourist information centre. That's very good. That might if be, you yeah. want to sort of walk well, the park, that's what yeah. I said, walk, because it yeah. gives you where yes. you park your and car. Your Most holiday resorts have information centres where you can go and find out what there is to do and see. Can you point out some of the, the interesting points about my paper? Well, we're here in the. Um, in the parade yeah. and um, you can go this part up here is the old part of Minehead. The town dates back many hundreds of years to well before it was a seaside resort. The thatched cottages and narrow streets that remain have become quite an attraction for visitors. Down by the quayside, there are more old cottages. These belonged to fishermen when Minehead was a fishing town. Before that, it was a port for the wool trade. But now, all that has changed. It was the coming of the railway that turned Minehead into a seaside resort. The railways linked Minehead and many other resorts to the large towns and cities. Suddenly, anyone who could afford the journey was able to get to the sea. Some for the day, others to stay. Today, the line to Minehead is privately owned. It's not linked to the rest of the railway. Instead, people must travel by road, by fast motorway and country roads, and that can bring its problems. Mm. 
Somerset is a farming county, and when cows have to be brought in for milking, it can cause quite a hold-up. You can probably imagine what the farmer thinks of this. In the town, the traffic problem is even worse, especially at weekends. A lot of it is heading for one place in particular, a holiday camp. The queue often extends right along the seafront. Uh, the girls are just about in, they're a length ahead of them, it's very close. Holiday camps, or centres as they're now called, provide almost everything you could ever want to do on a holiday. Here you don't have to worry about the tide. You can have a swim or a paddle anytime. All that's missing is the sand. And if the weather is wet, there's an indoor swimming pool. There's also a theatre, and there are amusement arcades and coffee bars everywhere. There's even the fun of the fair. The holiday centre has its own shops. There's really no need to go into the town if you don't want to. But the shops are not owned by the local people. Money spent here is money lost by the shopkeepers in town. Sixty-five pieces. You can buy all kinds of shoes in the centre, and if the sun doesn't shine, you can always get an artificial tan or a haircut. You can even fill your tank with petrol when it's time to go home. In the town, local people must compete with the holiday center to attract the visitors and keep them amused. Blue games train days 38. So the blue on the fours, 44. Green, they certainly seem to have succeeded. Want to get some money? This was once the town's theatre. It's a very different place now. The old buildings next door have also changed to cater for the holiday makers. Bingo, correct. Is there only one caller? Some have been pulled down to make way for more modern buildings. This one has certainly changed the look of the place. All these arcades close down when the season is over. By the time the schools go back in the autumn, the last of the holiday makers have gone. The town seems deserted. Only the noise of seagulls remains. As the winter sets in, the town is left to the people of Minehead. In the main street, so busy in summer, the cafes and shops are closed. With everywhere closed, there are fewer jobs for people to do. But it's the time of year to prepare for the season ahead. 
At the Holiday Center, work is underway on the reconstruction of the outdoor swimming pool. That makes a lot of jobs. Unfortunately, though, the people working here are not local. They've been brought in from other parts of the country. There are some jobs for local people to be found in the town's industrial site. But there are very few firms which have factories and offices here, and none of them employs many people. About the largest is this engineering factory. There's still plenty of space for more firms and more factories, but the sites stay empty, waiting for a new development. One place where there's always work to be done is in the parks. To keep the place neat and tidy, there's a whole team of people. As well as pruning, there are the flowers to be grown. These will provide the colourful displays that make the whole place so attractive. And what about the older people? What can they do in winter? If you're still very active, like Mr and Mrs Payton, Here we are. you can always help those less fortunate than yourself. I do quite a lot of voluntary driving for the people in the day centre. We're bringing them in in the morning, taking them home in the evening. We do a lot of the jobs that they want to be making, things that they can occupy themselves with, games, that sort of thing. Well, Earnham Lodge, of course, is a day centre for the um, elderly who are in need of help. Well, I was in service before that. It's all voluntary work that we do because we feel we have time now and we've retired, and we enjoy being with people, so I, I help here at Earnham Lodge. Hello, Mrs. Chetsey. How are you this morning? All right. The seaside resort attracts more than its fair share of elderly people. That's something the town must cope with. Always popular are the many activities run at the Community Education Centre. Painting is an activity that many older people enjoy. It's very relaxing. When you get to later years, you appreciate going back and slowing down again. This part of Somerset seems to still believe in being nice and quiet and slow. What is it about a seaside resort that attracts retired people? It's just so different to a city or the large town. And I think this is why so many people do retire down here eventually. There's not a great deal of heavy industry in the area. There's very few jobs, really, apart from the tourist trade. Winter time, Minehead goes to sleep, which is, I suppose, the usual thing for a, a seaside resort. It's much pleasanter, obviously, in the summer, but as far as a fisherman is concerned, of course, the winter is the better time for fishing. I still think I like the summer, but it's so busy.
There's a look at some traditional Italian festivals in Apunta.